Hi everyone. So we have almost reached towards the end of our video series. So in this particular video, we'll be understanding how to export our Primavera project or resources or roles into several formats, like into the formats of uh, Primavera, two different types of extensions. Then similarly into MSP also we can export. We can also export into Excel format, okay? So what you have to do is, first of all, you should open your project which you want to export. If you want to export one project, you can open one project. If you want to export two projects, you can open all those two projects, okay? So this is the basic necessity of exporting a project. So I have opened a project you can see at the top ITC, which is IT building construction. Only this project is opened. If I open one more project, it will show comma here and the name of the other project will also be displayed. Okay. Now you need to go to file. You need to go to the option of export here. Okay. Now you see you can export this particular project or resources and roles into several formats like .xer, then .xml, which are all Primavera kind of extension. Then even you can export it into Excel format, spreadsheet format, also into Microsoft format. These are the most common types of formats used. Okay. Let us try it exporting in the format of Primavera.xer. So you can choose the version also. So uh, you can only choose the version uh, prior to the version of your particular Primavera. So if you want to uh, reduce the uh, version, you can change the version also. So for me, I'll keep it 21.12 or later. Okay. I'll go to next. So whether you want to export project or you only want resources or you only want roles. So I want the complete project to be exported in the similar fashion. I'll show you for project in the similar fashion. You can uh, export your resources also. Similarly, your roles also. So I'll go to next. Now you can just tick the project. Like suppose if you open two, three multiple projects, you can just tick the project which you want to export. I want to export IT building construction. So I'll go to next. So you can choose the name of the file as and your location also. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, store it in my, on my desktop and I'll name it as ITC Primavera export. Okay. And you can see the extension is .xer. So I'll click on save. I'll go to finish. And you see the export is successful. So if I go to desktop, you see the project with the name ITC Primavera export is visible to me. Okay. Now moving on, if I go back to the same options to export and if I want to export it in spreadsheet format, see in the similar way, you can also export it in MSP format. Also, I'll show you for spreadsheet. If I click on spreadsheet, if I go to next, now it will ask what all data you want to export, whether you want to export activities, relationships, expenses, resources, resource assignments. So you can tick whatever you want. You can untick whatever you do not want. So I am ticking everything. I want everything. I'll go to next. I'll just choose the project for which I want to export. Then I click on next. Now see, there are several templates for these things. What you can do is you can just modify these templates or add a new template. See, this is for activity. So for activity, I'm, I'm wishing to add these particular columns. So if you want to add something else, like if you want to add the, let's say actual total cost, then you can also add the actual total cost. So whatever you are willing to add for this particular thing, you can add, you can modify your columns basically with this templates. Okay. Second template, if you see, and if you click on modify, so this particular template is let us say for activity relationships. So these are columns by default. If you want to add something else you can do, I'll click on. Okay. New to I'll modify. So I'll make this particular for expenses. So these are the items by default. You can add anything that you want. Next, I'll modify it for resource assignments and click on OK. Then last but not the least, I'll do it for the last one, which is your resources and click on OK. OK, so we have made our templates, the format in which we want our spreadsheet to be displayed. We'll click on next. So we'll choose the location. You can choose the location and you can name your project also. I'll choose desktop. So ITC. 
spreadsheet export okay i click on open i'll go to next and i'll click on finish so you see the export is successful i click on close and i'll show you that this particular spreadsheet has been created has been exported basically so once you open this particular excel you can see everything that we wanted in our excel file so just expand this so you see it ha it has some codes it uses some code terms like activities it calls it as task then your relationships and all it calls as task spread similarly costing and all it calls as see i'll just open primavera and i'll show what all we wanted so you go to export spreadsheet next see first of all we wanted activities so what is what is names it as task then we wanted relationships it has named it as task spread okay then expenses it has named as proj cost then resources it has named as rsrc and then last resource assignments it has named as task rsrc and this is some user data which you need not touch at all okay now see for task it has given everything like activity id then your activity status wbs code activity name start finish then resources whatever you wanted okay so it has given everything that you wanted similarly for this uh, your relationships also it has given predecessors successors relationships predecessors activity status successor status everything it has displayed so this is how you can export the spreadsheet file also okay now suppose if you want to export the uh, microsoft project you can do the same way you can go to next I just close this and i'll go to file i click on export microsoft project can go to next so i'll check this and go to next the file so see you just need to change the name i have already exported the file with similar name so i'll say itc msp export and i'll click on save i'll go to next now again here also you can modify your template like general you can choose a currency you can choose wbs you can choose activity settings related to activities related to resource these all settings you can change as per your desires okay and we'll click on next we'll keep the settings same and we'll click on finish so now you see it is taking a little bit of time for exporting it will export everything that you have asked for meanwhile you could have also changed the settings but we did not change the setting at all so we'll click on close and i'll show you on desktop that my itc msp export is successful okay so this is how we export our projects in primavera you can export in any type of format which are available in the similar fashion you can also go for exporting the resources and your uh what to say uh roles also okay i'll click on next you see you can also export your resources in the similar way i'll go to uh next you can choose the name for your file you can choose the location it will uh just export your resources whatever you want okay in the similar way you can do it for role also i'll go to next I click on finish you will export the roles so this is how exporting is done in primavera so that's all for this video thank you